Hey, hello, it's me, 84, coming at you with a video about this upcoming Spider-Verse sequel and the teaser trailer that came out just the other day. If you, if you didn't see it, you know, it was, they showed the spider insignia, the spider symbol, and they flashed through all the, all these different kind of designs and color schemes of the spider symbol. Now, in doing that, I think they gave us, you know, some clues on what we may expect to see in that movie. What, what different kind of spider characters we could see from that movie. And, you know, if you collectors out there that, you know, maybe want to get ahead on picking up some of the books that, you know, may pop because of the Spider-Verse sequel from these characters appearing in that movie, you know, don't worry, I did my best to try to get the intel for us. You know, I'm not just going to keep it for myself, man. Uh, and I don't know the answer on all of them, but what I did do is I downloaded the video and I went through like frame by frame and grabbed screenshots of all the different spider logos that they flashed kind of went through them and i got some i think i got some pretty good ideas on some of them on what spider characters they're referring to and some not really so maybe you can help me out with that and let me know uh what some of these might be that i might be missing so that's the deal that's what this video is about and you know without further ado let's just get to it right so in no particular order here's the first one it looks kind of like, like a you know film negative, right? Which makes you think, kind of like Mister Negative, that villain from the Spider-Man game. But you know he's not really a he's not a Spider-Man character. <sighs> Excuse me. So you know I'm not sure if we'll see him. Maybe that might not be a bad book to pick up. The first appearance of Mister Negative, but. There was a negative zone Spider-Man that popped up in the comics, you know, and he had that suit and stuff. So maybe we would see that guy, negative zone Spider-Man. Uh, I didn't jot down what his first appearance was, but if you put in negative zone Spider-Man, you might find it. But I think more intriguing about that is, yes, we had negative zone Spider-Man, but that suit that he was wearing actually got taken over by dusk and dusk if you don't know is from that slingers storyline um, where spider-man had the identity crisis and those four different personas popped up prodigy ricochet hornet and dusk and they kind of went off and became their own characters uh, this was these are the books from that identity crisis thing so this is the dusk one where he takes on that suit. And there was one for for the other characters too. This is uh, Prodigies. And I have this one. I don't have the Hornet one. But then I got this one, Identity Crisis. That's Ricochet. But in all these examples I'm showing you, this is Peter Parker rocking these outfits. But then Dusk went on to become her own character. So Peter Parker Spider-Man number one is when Peter wears the Dusk outfit. And then Dusk herself, her name is uh, Cassie St. Commons. She's her own character. She's in the 616 universe, so, you know, she's a legit character. And her first appearance is in Slingers number zero. That's when those characters got their own thing. So, Slingers number zero, I looked it up. There's, see, it's like a dollar book, you know, a couple bucks. You might spend between one and five dollars on this book and hey it's the first appearance of Dusk who did take on the negative zone Spider-Man suit bang that's that's what my take from the first one this next one is like it's like a neon light you know and 
to be honest, nothing really came to mind with uh, this neon sign Spider-Man. I personally, I don't think that every Spider logo variation in the teaser is talking about a certain character. I think they just kind of had some fun tweaking the images. I think this might be an example of that, but hey, I might be wrong. So, but that's that one. So you guys can get a clear look. They flashed that one. Um, boom. They flashed this one. This one is the one that got a little bit of coverage. This is the Japanese Spider-Man uh, symbol. And, you know, I'm not sure if there's really a, a comic book connection that you can make to this particular logo, but there, it's Japanese Spider-Man is referring to the Japanese TV show of Spider-Man. And, you know, they pretty prominently display that logo there, so who knows? Will we see some Japanese Spider-Man in there? Probably. I think they're probably just going to throw the whole kitchen sink at this and show all kind of different Spider-Man. How prominent they'll be in the movie, you know, is left to be uh, speculated on. Uh, next one. This, like, blue blue and red scratchy-looking logo. Um, I wasn't too sure on this one, you know, but one that came to mind was uh, a character called Spider Bite. Spider Bite is like a virtual reality type of spider character. I think it was a chick named, I'm going to mess up the name because I didn't write it down, Margo. And I know that Spider Bite's first appearance is in Vault of Spiders, number one. Uh, and she kind of has like a blue aesthetic to her in that color pattern. Her logo doesn't necessarily look like that, but that's one that came to mind. So uh, that's that one. Let me know if you think that tips you off to another kind of Spider-Man. Boom, this next one, kind of like this more like fat graffiti line type Spider-Man. You know, I'm not really sure on that one either, but, you know, since it's graffiti, even though Miles is kind of synonymous with graffiti, I'm still going to say, you know, Spider-Punk. Uh, Spider-Punk doesn't have that clearly as a logo on his outfit, but I still think Spider-Punk is very likely to be used in the movie. I read an interview from the producers of the film a while back, and they said there were a couple characters that they were really interested in using. And one of them was Spider-Punk. So, Spider-Punk, his first appearance is in ASM number 10 from the 2015 series. And, you know, he's a pretty badass design character. He's popped up a bunch in these little Spider-Verse things. So, shout out to Spider-Punk. I'm not sure if that's his logo, but bang. Uh, what's the next one on the chopping block? This one, I freeze frames. Uh, shit, man. I, I drew a blank when it came to the connection of this logo and a Spider-Man character, I'm not sure. It's got like a white and green kind of vibe to it. You know, I'm not sure. I think this is, might be an example of them just kind of playing with design with no particular Easter egg in mind. I think they, there's a couple that I'll do towards the end that I think are pretty heavy-handed Easter eggs for characters, but maybe not all of them. Next up, this blue and white type of symbol, um, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure on this one, you know, uh, no character really came to mind, it, it almost kind of reminds me of that negative zone type of design again, but, you know, I'm not sure, it's got the little technicolor dots on the bottom half. Boom. I'm just, I'm a, I'm, at the very least, I'm giving you the snapshots of the logos. I don't have all the answers, but I'm sharing what I got with you, just in case you didn't have a chance. Because I tried watching that video and, like, pausing it throughout, and, like, dude, you can't pause it fast enough. You've got to scrub through it frame by frame. Bang, that's that one. This next one, kind of like a psychedelic, almost looks like a Grateful Dead t-shirt, <laughs> uh, Spider-Man symbol. You know, not exactly sure what to make of that one. There's little, 
it almost looks like white stitching in it. It really does look like a tie-dye sweater type deal. Like a straight up hippie. Was there a hippie Spider-Man? I don't know. But that's the tie-dye looking one. Next up we have this red and black splattered kind of paint look. You know, almost almost a symbiote looking deal. You know, this one made me think of Carnage, honestly. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure if Carnage would actually be in this movie. I'm not sure how, how much they're going to stretch across into the villains. If Venom will make an appearance, maybe. But, you know, he's not necessarily a Spider-Man persona, but Spider-Carnage is. Spider-Carnage, first appearance, ASM 410. Might be something to consider. Uh, the red and black also kind of makes me think of Superior Spider-Man when Dr. Octopus was kind of taking over the main soul of Spider-Man. But that splatted paint, I'm not sure what to make of that. Uh, next up, <clears throat> this one. Man, I feel like this one's very intriguing because some of the other ones, you can tell they're just kind of playing with the color pattern of that Spider-Man symbol. And it's the Miles Morales Spider-Man symbol, by the way. Um, he's going to be the main character in this movie. I'm not even sure if we'll have like that Peter B. Parker again, or or even a Peter Parker character. Period. Uh, I think it's going to be the Miles show on the sequel. But this one not only changes color pattern, but it also changes the design quite a bit. And it's very sharp with these circular lines on the ends, and also I can't help but notice. Almost looks like a planet's ring around that circle. You know what I'm saying? Like Saturn or something like that. So it made me think cosmic. It made me think of cosmic Spider-Man. Um, even though he doesn't have a logo like that, I can't help but get the cosmic vibes from it. Now, cosmic Spider-Man, if he does show up in this, I think people are sleeping on him because... Cosmic Spider-Man doesn't even really show up in the Key Collector app. Uh, they don't even register his first appearance. Not that I could find anyway. So I had to independently hunt down. What is the first appearance of Cosmic Spider-Man? And there were two books that came up. One being What If Comics, number 31. Seemed to be a early or f key appearance of Spider-Man, of Cosmic Spider-Man. So What If 31 and also ASM number 9 from the Volume 3 series is also kind of credited as first Cosmic Spider-Man. So I've seen I've seen two different sites, two different reference points refer to one or the other of these two books as first Cosmic Spider-Man. So again, I couldn't refer to the Key Collector app for this one. Which means, I think it's a sleeper. First Cosmic Spider-Man. Is that his logo? Is that a hint towards him? I don't know, but bang, there you have it. Uh, next up, this next one I think I got. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we're looking at Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider with this. Just the tone of that blue and the red, the simple blue and red makes me think of that iconic hoodie. Even like if you look at the blue color they use, it looks like fabric, like sweat sweatshirt fabric with the logo on top of it so i think we're gonna see scarlet spider man in this movie shout out to d-runk i'm sure he'll be pumped for that scarlet spider man first appearance web of spider man number 118 and uh to even rewind it more than that first appearance of ben riley himself the spider man clone you know before he took the mantle of scarlet spider man is ASM 149. So those might be a couple books that you want to consider. Next one, we got this logo with this dark blue and red, but I think, I feel like that blue is a very specific blue. It's almost like a purplish blue color, which is the same color scheme as Spider Man 2099. You know, even though they didn't change to his style of spider symbol, 
I think that that color scheme is tipping us off to Spider-Man 2099. Um, he's definitely in the movie. We know that's confirmed. If you saw the, the end credit sequence at the end of the first movie, he's definitely in it. So I think people already know about that. But, you know, again, if you don't, 2099, first appearance, ASM 365. He's got, like, the centerfold situation. Bang. Or, number one, Spider-Man 2099. Uh, this next one, the paperclip one. Uh, this one stumped me, too. Um, you know, we got the yellow background. So it's a very distinct style. And... It seems like it's kind of intentional, this one. But I'll be damned if I know what costume this is. You know, uh, the paper clip in it, it's like a very realistic looking paper clip. Maybe it's one of the movie versions of Spider Man. Uh, kind of makes me think of like a homemade kind of suit Spider Man, which I couldn't really think of one. So. There's that one. Let me know what you think of that one. If that reminds you of anything. Uh, and then, oh, where is it? I didn't save a picture of it, but the last one I was going to show is definitely Silk, Cindy Moon, Spider-Man. Um, the color scheme's right, and there's a moon right on top of the logo. That's not an accident. They let it sit on the screen for a good bit of time. Cindy Moon Silk confirmed, as far as I'm concerned, with the inclusion of that. So, Cindy Moon Spider-Man, uh, let's see, a.k.a. Silk, first appearance, ASM number four from the 2014 series. That book has you know, already been specced on a little bit. And it's already, you know, over $100 to get a high-grade slab of it. And I would imagine they're going to highlight a couple new characters in this movie. The way they did Gwen Stacy and whatnot. And I think Silk is going to be the one, uh, or one of the few, that's going to be like a co-star in the movie. So, boom. Bombshell. Cindy Moon. I think they very deliberately told us that she's going to be not only in the movie, but probably a major player. That book is good spec. There's still room to grow, I think, if they make her as badass as they probably could. <coughs> ASM number one also has that foot appearance, you know, first appearance of Cindy Moon foot or some shit. But they printed so many of that because it's a number one issue, a modern number one issue, so you know what that means. Just print away like Marvel does. So, I mean, if you find it for a dollar or whatever, grab it, but I wouldn't worry about that book as much as the number four, Silk, appearance. Uh, any other spider characters I wanted to mention? You know, I always thought that my, f I don't read a ton of the Spider-Verse, Spider-Geddon stuff, but I read a few of them, and this was always my favorite, was Spider-Pete. In Uncle Ben. That was the dopest alternate version Spider-Man. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, it'd be cool to see them pop up. Shout out to them. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Just wanted to do a little PSA type of video. Put that info out there. Let me know what you think. If you have any intel on this. Do you think I'm on the right track? Do you have any theories on some of these? And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.